आप बोलेंगे पंजाब से और नथिंग विल गो ऑन रिकॉर्ड एक्सेप जवाहर सरकार नथिंग विल गो ऑन रिकॉर्ड एक्सेप जवाहर सरकार ऑनरेबल चेयरमैन ऑनरेबल चेयर सर थैंक यू फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑल चेयर सर आई थैंक यू फॉर दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मेक जस्ट अ फ्यू शार्प पॉइंट्स ऑन द रेलवे बजट ऑन द रेलवे बजट द फर्स्ट थिंग ऐसे ही चिल्लाते रहा करो जब मैं बोला था द फर्स्ट थिंग दैट आई वुड लाइक टू ड्रॉ द ऑनरेबल रेलवे मिनिस्टर्स अटेंशन I, I would like to draw. अरे उनका समय मत करो। अरे बोल बोलने दीजिए। मेरे समय बर्बाद क्यों करे भाई? तो दुफास आप बोलिए। आप बोलिए। I would like to draw. Record में जा रहा है। आप दोनों बोल रहे हो। Record में जा रहा है। Of the Honorable Railway Minister, who has a wide background of administration, is that half the passengers of a daily basis in India, half the railway passengers. in india on a daily basis are just three suburban railways the three suburban railways constitute half the passengers daily passengers of india so with this in mind if half the passengers or even 45% of the passengers are suburban passengers of bombay of mumbai kolkata and chennai and others they have never got 1% of the railway budget they go in packs like animals they hang out like birds Shame. this sort of a treatment shameful treatment of rail of suburban railway passengers must end during your tenure mr railway minister you can you can take a look at that so that is the first point i am making that suburban railways have always been neglected except in very brief periods so please look at suburban railways as a special project the problem is he has one of the finest cadres of traffic accounts mechanical electrical or the finest cadres but most of them consider suburban railways to be a pain to be unprofitable now you can't have profitability everywhere we don't have profitability in narega we don't have profitability in food for work in food aid to treat it as a social sector project by first request you will be catering in one stroke to 50% of the daily passengers of india please take a fresh look at it the second point i would like to make is nmp this national monetization scheme is a cloud wrapped within an enigma wrapped within a mystery please come out transparently railways are too important and too risky to be leased out even for a short while to private profiteers railways that i can't you are talking of leasing 1400 kilometers i can't travel on a rajdhani wondering whether the next 100 kilometer of tracks are being maintained by a profiteer please 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 clarify where are you doing it on what grounds are you doing it every feet of railway line has to be maintained and they are doing a splendid job out of it but in spite of that accidents happen so please be careful railways are the lifeline of india before you lease out anything of the railways please please be more transparent let it be in the public domain your budget is 1 one, la one and a half lakh crores your net worth is more than the government of india's budget you are an aristocratic department come out transparently don't play behind screens to so my second point is on nmp you are leasing out 400 stations which 400 stations who is in charge of what who is in charge of signaling who is in charge of delays who is in charge of anything the railways are the heart of the of the administration of india do not play around with it if you have to lease if you have to earn money build supermarkets over railway stations in of urban areas which is within your control within your control it's not like a gas pipeline from one end to the other that you lease out railways are just too risky so before we fall for this nmp game which is as i said a mystery within a mystery within a mystery please come out with facts you one of the honorable members has said a lot of 
negative things about uh, Mamata Banerjee as railway minister. I don't want to get into all that. All I am saying is that she had a vision statement made by professionals when she was here. The second statement is that she knows what the people want, otherwise she wouldn't be getting elected again and again. Have a look at that statement. Have a look at that statement. Last point that I would like to make, sir, is that when you lease out, you are leasing out the pride of India, the heritage railways. The heritage railways are like the zewar, like the jewels of India. How can you lease out your own jewels? The Darjeeling Railways, first of all, it's under a sad state of neglect. Okay, Sapno Ke Rani and all that. It's in a sad state, of, uh, sad state of neglect as it is. What will a private company do there? It requires infrastructural investment. So before you lose out jewels like the Darjeeling Heritage Railway, Shimla Heritage Railway, or even the Konkan Railway, which is one of the pride of the Indian Railways, why are you going in for that? This pagalpan about earning 6 lakh crores from this and that can come out, but not from selling off self, family silver. Don't sell off our lives, our safety, our lifeline for a few coins of silver. Mr. Minister, sir, and my ultimate point, I won't encroach on your time. Ultimate point is one fact is not told to you and told to most people. There are people who require a small machine to be plugged in while traveling on the train for breathing, CPAP, BPAP, somebody mentioned bronchial, I think Vasan Saab mentioned. So there are these machines that are very low power consumption. Your ministry cuts off the line every half an hour, which destroys the machine. Your light is on, your fan is on, why can't that plug point be on? I mean, I, I have not been able to understand. I have spoken to half a dozen people. So, please remember these points that the life-saving point, which is just a, just a plug point in your, in, your, in your compartment, let it be on. I round up by complimenting you. You come with a wide experience. Thank the you. The budget is good. Thank you. Budget, your part of the budget is good. But please come back to suburban passengers who are being treated like second class, third class citizens and animals. Please reconsider your part in the National Monetization Program. Please reconsider the Heritage Railways. Thank, Thank you, you very much and bless you. The next speaker is uh, uh, Sri Sahasa Buddhiji.